This is the last section of the course, Attention Mechanism for CNN and Visual Models. We will start with Attention Mechanism for Image Captioning. Well, let's take an example that sits right in between a text and image to understand this. Assume that we need to caption an image with respect to its contents. We have some images with captions provided by humans as training data, and using this, we need to create a system that can provide a decent caption for any new image not seen earlier by the model. As seen earlier, let's take an example and see how we, as humans, will perceive this task and the analogous process to it that needs to be implemented in Deep Learning and CNN. Let's consider this image and conceive some plausible captions for it. We'll also rank them heuristically using human judgment. Some probable captions are Woman seeing dog in snow forest Brown dog in snow A person wearing a cap in woods and white land Dog, tree, snow, person and sunshine An important thing to note here is that, despite the fact that the woman is central to the image and the dog is not the biggest object in the image, the caption we sought probable focused on them and then their surroundings here. This is because we consider them as important entities here. So, as humans, how did we reach this conclusion? We first glanced the whole image, and then we focused towards the woman in high resolution while putting everything in the background. Assume a bokeh effect in a dual camera phone. We identified the caption part for that, and then the dog in high resolution while putting everything else in low resolution, and we appended that caption part. Finally, we did the same for the surroundings and caption part for that. So, the first iteration of the sequence leads to woman, seeing, dog in, snow, then forest. Filler words such as in and action words such as seeing can also be automatically learned when the best image splice or sequence mapping to human-generated captions is done across several images.